questions on how I um, designed the trigger mechanism and how I arranged the springs in the uh, brake action 12 gauge. So I'm going to do a video on that, show you how I built that, and also a little uh, sneak peek at a video project that should be coming up. So these are, uh, this is a barrel that came out of the um, Harbor Freight rivet gun. I got two of them. I got two of the rivet guns for free, actually. So the plan is to make a double barreled 9mm uh, rivet gun. Rivet gun gun, I guess. So look forward to that. It should be in a few weeks. So let's get started. Alright, so let's take this thing apart. Made this cover just out of a piece of sheet metal, uh, steel from Home Depot or something. Bent it into shape. Take the screws off and it slides right off. That's all that is. So now you can see how I have the spring. So that's the hammer spring. It's the hammer spring. That's the uh, firing pin spring. I don't know if you can see that. So let's go ahead and take it apart even more. So there's the nut for the stock. Let's go ahead and take that off. Take that nut off, the stock just slides off. There's the inside of the stock. So I just drilled a hole basically straight down through the inside and then drilled a hole through here to meet it. Basically, they're just the exact same as this angle here. So, kind of how it looks when it's inside. I just welded it to the back. So this is the hammer, obviously. Pull the hammer back. Um, trigger is uh, pushed into place by this spring. Um, this is a uh, expansion spring, or not compression. Um, and pull it. Releases. So, let me go ahead and take these pins out and show you how that works. So there's one pin for the hammer. Thank <laughs> you. 
in for the trigger. Trigger. Trigger spring. It's right there. Keeps constant forward pressure. Here's the hammer, which is. the hammer and the hammer spring. So this design is roughly based on J Cubble, J Cub L, or however you pronounce it, his channel. He's got a shotgun build pretty similar to this. Um, I use most of his idea except for the hammer spring and a little bit of the um, plate and the stock is um, original. So get get all these springs from Home Depot in a little pack for like four bucks or something so this is how the trigger works um, the uh, hammers always under constant forward pressure pushing forward so this is how the hammers you uh, normally sitting and you cock it back trigger flips forward into that little notch right there and then holds it until you pull and it lets it fly and this is the uh, firing pin you can see that come out and uh, basically just uh, I think it was an old screwdriver that I used with the spring and a uh, a notch ground down in the screwdriver and then a zip tie right there so the spring uh, stays in between so yeah that's the trigger mechanism for the brake action 12 gauge thanks for watching